Alright, so before I start talking about some of the Ninja Turtle figures that are being released, I just wanted to give a shout out to these two Instagram people that I follow. They are where I find most of the new Ninja Turtle figures being released, and I just wanted to give them props before I started talking about them. So first up here, this is what the new figures are going to look like in the box. Uh, I think maybe a month ago, uh, some leaks were shown of the turtles in box. I posted a video of them, and I got fucking copyright claim Bruh. because playmates did not like that. But I really enjoy how the boxes look on it. They have a very cool, modern, but still very retro look to them. I like the way that the purple pops, and they're going to come with a lot of accessories here, as well as the baby turtles, all the turtles are going to have those. Um, here's Leo, and you can see a better look at the weapons rack here, uh, and looks like it's sharing some of the same weapons that other incarnations of the Ninja Turtles have had, like the 2012 series with those like throwing daggers. Uh, he's another good pick of Leo here, and I honestly I think he looks the best out of the four. He looks like just a very good like Ninja Turtle, like dead ass. Like, I don't know what to, what else to say. Yeah, I just think he looks really cool. The colors are very vibrant and pop. It has a very classic look, but like I don't know. When I think of Ninja Turtle, it's like this is what I'm thinking of. Like, just I really enjoy the design of him. And here we got Mikey, and I enjoy how he's looking too. Uh, looks like he's got a weird pair of nunchucks where it's two microphones on the end. I don't know if that's going to play any part in the movie or if that's just some like fun accessory. Looks like on the side there, he has that longer chain weapon that I don't know the name of that um, the 2012 Michelangelo had. I uh, got the Raffi here, and I... I do like how Raph looks, I think I like him maybe the second most out of the new designs. I'm just not really the biggest fan of like the full red bandana, but uh, I actually did a just a little edit of me putting green on the top just to see what it looked like and I prefer it a bit more. Um, it's going to pop up in a second here, but with the weapons rack I do enjoy how it looks oh there it motherfucker is yeah I don't know I'm just not really a big fan of like the new like how Raph always has like the full bandana now I prefer the classic look to them but whatever it is what it is but I do enjoy how the weapons look very like rigid and like scuffed look to them like they were like actually made in a sewer is kind of the vibe I get which is kind of a cool way to do it because like them having ninja weapons doesn't really make sense in the sewer in the first place I mean <laughs> all of it never mind here's a better look at the bebop and I think he looks pretty good he just looks like bebop to be um it's kind of kind of funny how the whole transition of like how bebop and rock city were ripped in like the 80s and now they're just kind of like bigger fat doofuses i mean they've always been like brain dead but you get what i mean uh rocksteady here kind of looks like he's gonna be the shortest in the wave Bruh. probably just because of his design with the most plastic so it kind of sucks that he's shorter but i understand it um looks like he has a sledgehammer here which is pretty cool looks like he's got like some of the classic uh weapons like the sewer great shield is pretty cool I like the knife and like the guns are pretty cool. I don't think I'm actually gonna be taking the weapon racks apart for these turtles. I just don't care to lose the accessories or any of that. So I'll give them their main ones, but leave the rest. And there's Splinter here. Um, I'm very glad that those glasses are removable. Um, he looks better plain like that. It's pretty cool that he has um, again, like the classic accessories, which I think is a really cool, uh, just thing that this series is doing is they're paying a lot of homage to the 80s series for sure, but like putting a modern twist on it, like the bow and arrow, the cane being like a blade is something the 2003 one did for sure. And 
this was the main reason I actually wanted to talk about this was the Superfly and I have a feeling this is gonna turn out to be Baxter Stockman in the movie and I don't have much to work off of. obviously the fly mutant is a big one but it's that metal fly swatter that is the same like design as the original Baxter Stockman figure that had the that fly swatter with like the little baby turtle smushed in the corner and the ray gun at the top kind of reminds me of the old arcade game and his other accessories looked like it was like beakers and just kind of like science stuff so it may be Baxter Stockman and if it is I'll probably pick him up and I might paint this one this would be the only one I'd probably want to paint from the wave and um I kind of enjoy that uh shoe design that's kind of like peeking out from the bottom of his foot there that's kind of like the shoe is still stuck to his body or whatever uh, but right here, it looks like we're also going to be getting two packs of the basic figures. But these are like battle damage ones. It looks like they have a bunch of cross hatching put on them for like, like more well, battle damage. Bruh. Uh, and it pretty sure they're also going to come with co like connectable bases. I'm not sure if that's going to be like that backdrop there and like the streets maybe can like connect together. So that's kind of cool and something different that like will make you maybe want to get these ones over the basics. I'm probably still going to get the basic ones over these ones, but they still look really cool and like having the grittier look to them is kind of cool. And hopefully there'll be some, some cool fight scenes in the movie with having the battle damage ones here. Um, I also have seen that... Oh. He's Leatherhead here, actually. I haven't shown Leatherhead yet. Um, I've seen people complaining about how they want him to be bigger, which is valid, but I could kind of see them doing a cool, like, hunter, like, like the 80s Leatherhead, but, like, if they do, like, a, they could do, like, a cool, maybe more serious take on that. Like, he's not cracking jokes or anything or having, like, the weird accent. He's, like, actually, like, a cold-blooded hunter. And, like, he's, like, kind of Craven vibe, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, whatever. I don't know what I was talking about. But, like, uh, here's a shot of what they're going to look like in the boxes. If anything, I'm not really, like, an inbox collector but, like, I'm telling you, for some reason, the way, like, the boxes are designed for, like, this series, it deadass makes me want to keep them in the box. I might buy the basic ones and open them up and maybe get a two-pack and keep it in the box. I'm not entirely sure yet, but uh, still sticking with the Playmate stuff here. Uh, this new box set was released for the East Man Laird comic Turtles, actually. The Turtle Adventure ones. Not the Mirage ones. And it's going to be Mondo Gecko, Mondo Gecko, April O'Neil, The White, and the two Turtles, which are re releases from the. At some point, the 2012 line, they released these Turtles with all red bandanas. And I actually really enjoy the repaint on these ones. I think those Turtles look really cool with those colors. Alright, so moving over to some of the Mirage NECA stuff here. We got a first look at Master Splinter in the box, and he looks really dope. I'm probably going to pick this one up and switch him out in my Ninja Turtle Stop Motion series based off the Mirage figures, or series, storyline, these nuts, whatever, you get it. Also looks like he's got an Uchom there in the top left, and some T. Which is a cool accessory for Splinter. And overall, the figure looks really dope. And next up here, we got the new NECA Turtles. Um, I'm pretty sure they looked like this in the Return to New York storyline, if I'm not mistaken. And I think that would actually be a kind of cool idea to do as well in the, the stop motion series that I'm doing. 
I'm just trying to be as faithful as I can to the original source material, but putting my own twist on it and adding the 2003 dialogue so I can kind of work with those storylines as well. So hopefully it's not like a San Diego like Comic-Con exclusive because that would actually be really rough. And we all know those fucking neck beards are going to be picking it up just to resell it for double the price. And it's like, bruh. Alright, and the next couple figures that I'm going to be showing here are some of the new foot soldiers based off of the comic books as well. Um, I'm not really vibing with these ones. I think they, I'm definitely going to pass on them. Same with like the previous black and white shredder and foot soldier. I don't have those turtles, so I don't really see the need to getting them. The only reason I'd probably want to pick them up is to repaint them because I want the set that is from the some comic-con four pack with the shredder and the three foot soldiers i really enjoy those designs and i just i think that these just kind of look bad to be honest like there's way too much blue if you're looking at the box there you can see way more shading and just way more black put into the design i just think the blue is just too distracting for like what it is and like putting these next to the turtle it's like the turtles look like the comic but like these are just kind of blue i don't know just kind of mid yeah, I don't know. That's probably going to be it for this video. My roommates are probably sick of hearing me talk about fucking intro toys all night. So, uh, so I kind of really wanted to say, just kind of wanted to bring up how interesting it was to see how the Superfly had the Baxter Stockman accessories. So, kind of might be the same character. Probably fucking is. And they're just going to be a big reveal. He's a fucking science nerd. Yeah, I've been talking about turtles too long. I'm losing my voice. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. And let me know what you think of the new figures, and if you're going to be picking them up, and what are your thoughts?